Now we'll be discussing how to install an indoor uh, scoreboard. So on indoor scoreboards, after you get the scoreboard itself mounted to the wall, if you're using a hardwired communication, there are a signal in and a signal out jack up on the top. You just use a quarter inch uh, phono cable that would plug in. This would go between the scoreboard and you'd have a box on the wall. For the power, the power is just going to have a 10 foot power cord that you'll just plug into a standard outlet. If you have to uh, install radio or if you have any service problems, we'll have to get into the driver location as well. So if we have uh, to install the scoreboard with radio or we have to service the scoreboard, we'll come in here. And here is where we have the uh, driver itself. So this is our uh, current scoreboard driver that we have, called a gyrus driver. Basically with all these different connections, what I have is each one of these nine pin jacks here goes to a digit. This uh, signal jack in the middle, this is my signal in, uh, signal out, and power in. So this is uh, what powers up the scoreboard driver. I have this uh, six pin right here, this is for the radio. So if I have a radio, my radio will plug into this six pin jack right here. I can have an address plug, so the scoreboards might have an address plug, or the new ones, we will just set the address using the dials. I have a four pin jack. This four pin jack is for the horn. That will plug into this uh, jack right here for the horn. I have two transformers. My transformers are what uh, power up my, uh, my driver. I have a uh, terminal block up here, so if I was using hardwired communication, the terminal block would be for signal in and signal out. On the driver, I have some indicator lights. So I have a uh, power indicator light down here. Up here I have a radio signal. So this is telling me that I'm getting radio signal. If I go in and plug the radio, this light will go out. The one that's flashing, that is a heartbeat. That should have a, should flash about once a second. So if I plug my radio back in, after a little bit my light's going to come back on. So now my radio is getting signal, so that comes into here. So these are all the different connections. The dials on here, on my driver, I have a d dial that's labeled H and a dial that's labeled L. And those will be set to have your address on your scoreboard, on the new ones. So now I'll just show how to uh, change out the driver. If we have to change out the driver, these other connections will be fairly straightforward as to where they go. But the one thing we have to pay attention to is the address. So if we had an older scoreboard, it would have an address plug in the board. And the address plug would typically be labeled as to what address it was set to. If we had to change the driver, we would have to um, make sure that we have our dial set correctly. So the new scoreboards will not have this address plug. It's just going to have the dial set. So on the dials, I have an H uh, switch and an L switch. So if I change my H switch, and you look up in the clock, this first one here, it jumps it by 16 at a time. If I move my dial here on the right, my low switch, as I go through, I can see what the address is set to. So this scoreboard needs to be set to address number 17. So I can get up to 15, and then it starts over at 0. So I have to change my high dial. I'll add one more. Now I'm at address 17, and now my scoreboard driver will work. If you are changing the driver out, and you have um, one of these new drivers and it's gone bad, you'll need to take note of what the switches are set to on the old driver before you replace it with a new one you'll have to set the address the same on the new driver. Or if they have the address plug, we could just plug the address plug in and leave the dials on 0 and 0. If you have the dial set to anything other than 0, 0 and you have your address plug in here, it could uh, mess up the address.